of nature, one evolves a particular kind of faith. The living being is said to be of a particular faith according to the modes he has acquired. Everyone has a particular type of faith regardless of what he is, but his faith is considered good, passionate or ignorant according to the nature he has acquired. Thus according to his particular type of faith one associate with certain persons. Now the real fact is that every living being, as stated in the 15th chapter, is originally a fragmental part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. Therefore one is originally transcendental to all the modes of material nature. But when one forgets his relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead and comes into contact with the material nature in conditional life, he generates his own position by association with the different varieties of material nature. The resultant artificial faith and existence are only material. Although one may be conducted by some impression or some conception of life, originally he is near guna or transcendental. Therefore one has to become cleansed of the material contamination that he has acquired in order to regain his relationship with the Supreme Lord. That is the only path back without fear. Krishna consciousness if one is situated in Krishna consciousness, then that path is, is guaranteed for his elevation to the perfectional stage. If one does not take to this path of self-realization, then he surely to be conducted by the influence of the modes of nature. The word strata or faith is very significant in this verse. Strata or faith originally comes out of the mode of goodness. One's faith may be in a demigod, or some created god or some metal concoction. One strong faith is supposed to be productive of works of material goodness, but in material conditional life, no works are completely purified. They are mixed. They're not in pure goodness. Pure goodness is transcendental. In purified goodness, one can understand the real nature of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As long as one's faith is not completely in purified goodness, the faith is subject to contamination by any of the modes of material nature. The contaminated modes of material nature expand to the heart. Therefore, according to the position of the heart in contact with a particular mode of nature, once faith is established, it should be understood that if one's heart is in the mode of goodness, his faith is also in the mode of goodness. If his heart is in the mode of passion, his faith is also in the mode of passion. And if his heart is in the mode of darkness, illusion, his faith is also thus contaminated. Thus, we find different types of faith in this world, and there are different types of religions due to the different types of faith. The real principle of religious faith is situated in the mode of pure goodness, but because the heart is tainted 
we find different types of religious principles. Thus, according to different types of faith, there are different kinds of worship. Om Ajnati Nandasya Jnanandana Salakya Shaksurin Nivitangena Jasmai Sri Gurve Nama Shri Chaitanya Mano Vistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Svaparantikam Vandeham Sikaro Sita Padakamalam Sikurum Vaisnavam Sita Si Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Rogatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Srivisakan Vitam Sita He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopisa Gopika Ganta Radha Kanta Namastute Tapta Kansa Nagorangi Radha Vindavaneshwari Vasavanu Sutta Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpa Trivyacha Sakripa Sindhu Vivacha Patitanam Pavani Vyo Vaisnave Vyo Namo Namo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadada Shri Vasani Gora Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 